I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thank you for joining me once again on my channel on data engineering and data analytics. In this episode, we're going back to our Microsoft Access playlist and we're going to work on append queries, which are queries that can take some data from one table and stick it onto the end of another table that you might have. And uh, append queries are particularly helpful when you need to put big chunks of data uh, onto the end of uh, a table that you might have, but also um, they're very handy for when you want to move data from one database to another. And so our example today, uh, we're going to um, do a link table to another access database, um, sort of simulating what you might find in the real world. And we're going to take uh, some uh, records from a candy table that we have in another database and we're going to append those onto a candy table that we have in our current database. And so without further ado, let's get to our Microsoft Access append queries. Okay, so for this example, uh, I created a new file in Access called uh, More Candy in the same folder that we did our other example. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new table here. I'm going to, I'll give it an ID that's an auto number. I'll use the same uh, fields that we used last time for our candy table. So I'll create a candy type that's a short text and then a candy name. And I'll make that a short text as well. And then I'll add a price to it um, uh, just so that we have something to uh, append onto our, our table uh, in our other database that we've been working on for the last <clears throat> few episodes. So I'll call this table more candy. Um, and I, I tried to close or save, or I tried to save it there. And now it's asking uh, about primary key, which you can say yes if you have an auto number in there. But I'll cancel and just do it manually. So what I'll do is I'm going to put my cursor in the uh, column there um, and then uh, for ID and then hit primary key. And that's going to explicitly set our primary key, which is something we should do when, whenever you make a table. And now we've got a, a nice little table and we'll just pop a few entries in here um, that we can use um, to, um, <clears throat> to append onto our, our uh, table that we've uh, created in our past episodes here. And so I'll create a candy in the gumball section uh, called uh, red and spicy and I'll give that a price and, uh, and then I'll add a couple, a couple more in each of the categories that we had. So we had a toffee category and uh, we also had a chocolate category. <clears throat> and so you can see that this is a going to be another database file that's not our main file. So this is like maybe some data that you have to put into your database onto a table in your database. And you haven't figured out how to do that using your pen queries. Uh, yet and so um, this is going to be very helpful for you and although we are only doing three records here um, this operation that we're going to do is actually great for if you had you know tens of thousands of rows or even hundreds of thousands or or more um, then you'll truly learn why this is uh, a very useful um, way to do things so so I closed that database, um, and that's sitting in the same in the same folder. So the file for the new database is sitting in there, and it's got those three entries in it in that table. And this is our file that we've been working with for the past little while. So we have a candy table, and we have a candy order table, and then we had a candy form that we were working on. Uh, but what we want to look at is is our candy table here, and you can see um, that it's got the same fields as our as the uh, data that we're going to bring in. <clears throat> and so what we want to do is we want to append our records from the other database onto the end of this table here. And so we're going to go to our uh, uh, external data tab. We'll get our data source from an access database. Uh, and then we'll do, we'll put in our, our uh, <clears throat> path to our database here. You can use the browse button as well. And you don't want to use import tables. We're just going to link so that we can leave 
the data that's in the other database uh, sort of where it is uh, without, you know, importing it. And we're just going to look at that data and then we're going to append the data onto the end of our table. So as you can see, that creates another table, uh, but it has a little arrow beside it. You can see we've got our gumballs, our red and spicy, and everything, and we can see that table. We can see where, where it comes from. It's got a little arrow there. And the arrow just tells us that that's a link table and, uh, and there's no data stored in this database file, <clears throat> but we're looking into the other um, database. And so we can see in our more candy table there are three rows that we wanted and we, where we can make our query. And so we'll go to the create ribbon and we'll choose our query design and then that'll give us this pop-up here and you can see it's unfiltered we've got all our stuff from our other from our other um, lessons but you'll choose more candy from that list and go add and then OK and uh, and then close and then uh, and then you can see here that we've got the same fields in more candy that we have in our in our uh, main query and so we're going to choose append from the ribbon above in the on the design ribbon and we're going to choose the table when when it pops up we'll choose the candy table and we'll click OK and then now you can see uh, that we can choose some some um, fields here but we're not going to choose the the ID uh, because that's an auto number and it's going to regenerate each row that we uh, paste in here but we can choose the candy type, and as you can see, um, it automatically uh, chooses candy type in the in the destination table. And you can do the same thing for the other two. Uh, so you double click on those, and now we've got candy type, candy name, and candy price, and the append to automatically uh, filled in. Now sometimes the they might be slightly different names, and so you might have to go and choose those uh, in the append to. Um, but uh, usually if they have the same names you it's a lot easier so we'll save that we'll, we'll call it append candy and now you can see on the left there we've got a, uh, a nice little um, append query in our query section and that's ready to go so if we double click that it's actually going to execute it um, and then it'll give you a warning it'll say you're about to append some rows and then it'll tell you how many you can say yes, and uh, and then you can go take a look. Now here's our table that's in our local database, and as you can see, the uh, three rows have been appended to the end. And as I mentioned, it could be you know 30,000 rows. This is just a very simple example, and that's exactly what we wanted to see: is our our uh, two tables uh, have been combined, and that is how you use an append query in Microsoft Access. Hope you enjoyed today's discussion about how to do uh, append queries in Microsoft Access. If you like what you saw today, please give the video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet. And uh, if you have any questions or comments about what you saw today, make sure to put those in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer any questions that you might have. Have a great day, have a safe day, and I'll catch you next time.